All right, folks. Um, today is February 21st, 2017. Um, this is a little difficult to make. Basically, what's going on is um, there are a whole bunch of managers in the shop that I work out of at my place of work. And uh, one of them... You know, the, the one that offered me a job application after being here for a few weeks with Labor Ready. <clears throat> He's currently on, well, the, the last mattress that he'll ever be on. I, I don't know how else to really word it. He's on his deathbed. Um, the opportunity... The opportunity that he's given me by give you know <clears throat> letting me work here <clears throat> is uh it's it's immeasurable. And I never really said thank you to him. Back in I think it was October, he was diagnosed with stage four cancer and I already knew right then and there when I heard that that he didn't have much longer I mean generally when you when you have cancer at stage four you're gonna go anyways I think personally the the chemo just accelerated the inevitable because in some cases that's what it does um I never said thank you to him the way that I wanted to and should have, and he's currently in hospice care. There are some people visiting. I just, I just can't visit. Um, but what I did do is. See when I when I when I first heard that he was sick, I wanted to thank him, but I didn't want to say it in such a way that would imply that you know I thought he was going to go because that's never good for anybody who's fighting to live. So I figured, well, I'm going to have to write him a letter, and now it's now it's crunch time, so. Today during my lunch, I sat in here writing this letter, and I wound up making two drafts of it. I gave I gave the the final copy to um, the the boss that's here, who is going to. I don't think he's going to go see him tonight, but I think he's going to go see his wife tonight. Um, and give it to her. So I just I just felt that I should share at least the rough draft because I think I did a pretty good job at getting out my thoughts and feelings in, you know, just a short one page thing. So it says Writing this letter has been much like when I was in school and had a project to do. Starting it where starting it is put off not from being lazy but rather because I wanted to be sure that I say everything I need to. Now it's the night before the assignment is due. I can't say it the way that I want to say it, but thank you. <clears throat> Thank you for the opportunities that you have given me by adding me to your crew down at my department. The positive impact that this opportunity has had on my life is immeasurable. I do not know where I would be today had you not thrown me the biggest bone that I've ever had thrown to me. Thank you, Eric. And... I, I I can remember a little bit of 
edits that I made to the final version um, that made it, you know, significantly better. However, that's that's really not bad for a first draft, if I do say so myself. I I um, I just wanted to, you know, get it out there and, and say it. It's just like a little additional thing. And if you watch, if you watched my last video, you'll you'll see that you know. It's not because of this that I haven't really made any lately. It's just I've been absolutely busy getting blasted here with the snow. Although this week it's supposed to be good, for the most part. Anyways, um, I figured I'd just share that with everybody, and you know, hope everything's going all well. Danny for you, and I'll talk to you all later. Thank you. Bye-bye.